Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Project Zero. We've got a massive hole in the floor. So, uh, when we last left off, we'd finally made it to uh, the third night, and we were busy exploring. We did get locked downstairs uh, in a hallway full of uh, dead people, which was interesting. Uh, first time we ever fought multiple ghosts and uh, yeah we finally got back into the mansion and we've got a lot of doors to explore. So front door won't open as if something's holding it. Seems sealed by a powerful force. Okay well I mean at least they explained why we can't go back out. Right um, now I have printed out a guide for this game. and I'm not reading it. I'm not really following it but I have skimmed through and with a sharpie, I've gone through and X'd all of the hidden ghosts, I think. I might have missed one or two. But I want to try and get all of the hidden ghosts. At the same time, I don't want to read the guide. <laughs> um, because I want to enjoy this game. Um, but if I think there's some funky weirdness going on. Oh, oh, shh. Oh, dear. Who's that? What is that? Where are you? There's no point in hiding. Oh, what a horrible fucking... Oh, hello. What a horrible... E oh. Evil place to get a ghost. So she's kind of on the floor. I can't remember who this is either. So she. She. Ah, it's the Shrine Maiden. I don't think so, love. Hands off. Hands off my unmentionables. Alright, should be able to get a good charge here. You know, this game really does make very good use of the, um, the quick turn ability. It really does. And that's nice to see. Right. I think my recording time is going to be cut a little bit short as I just sat down to uh, record this game after being in the Discord for a while. And... Ooh, we, how, how many points have we got? Uh, nearly 4,000. And uh, I could hear people moving around in my flat. And I was like, uh, I'm the only person here. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, so I went into the, the, the uh, hallway and there's some dude in there checking the fire alarm. And I'm like, ah, uh, okay. Wasn't my imagination. There's actually some, some person in the house. Uh, it turns out I totally forgot the landlord told us uh, that there was a bloke coming to test the fire system today. And I completely forgot about it. Um, right. So let's have a look. There's a box of film. Oh, what film? 74. I'll have it. Right. Uh, so we just got a ghost as well. What ghost was that item? Kind of just skipped through that a little bit too quick. Blind demon for 3,000. I did see the blind demon here. Where's my sharpie? Here. Nope. Oh, we were definitely... <laughs> Oh, we're we've definitely gone off the beaten path on the on this guide. Holy shit, blind demon is way down the list. Um, right, got that one. Uh, okay, cool. Like I said, I don't want to follow the guide because that's not fun to me. Um, you know, especially uh, considering just how much I'm enjoying this game. So, let's check the mask room. I need to try and remember. Like, I want to try and sweep every area. Because the areas do get repopulated with items. And I like it. It's cool. I really like it. But, we might also get to waste a few uh, more ghosts along the way, which would be fairly nice. Anything in here? There's no, um, ooh. Not bad, okay. That was worth it. Not bad at all, game. Not bad at all. Okay. 
so oh what's this as well yeah cool hey we must be pretty loaded with that type 70 yeah we're already like maxed out on that stuff again those shrine maidens are pretty easy to be honest can't go through this ah right yeah it's because the uh oh the masks are gone are they yeah oh okay well you know i mean everything is a little bit different every time we uh go through so i am going to tick off the blinding room we've done that we've done the mask room optional apparently okay uh right okay now where are we on the map anyway so we're in this corridor so we can't go through there i guess i guess the square garden is totally off limits to us for now at least we've been through to the entrance can we go through the lamp hallway i wonder i wonder how many ghosts we're going to encounter because we're on the third night i'm going to assume that oh i bet we can't go through here no some son of a mutant has uh, come along and taken all of our masks away. That ain't good. That Shrine Maiden, uh, she's an interesting ghost. She really doesn't put up much of a fight. Which is, I mean, fine, I guess. It's nice to have, you know, uh, a ghost that's a little bit on the easier side once in a while. All right, let's go uh, grab some more film and save the progress. Uh, right. Turn my PC speakers off because my PC is going mental. It's like, hey, pay me attention. Like, no, we're hunting ghosts. Piss off. I'm hoping, like, the main formula in the other games um, is the same because I like the, the idea of the different nights. You're basically in the same area. And they get reseeded with items. I love gathering items in these sort of... Oh. Oh. Who's that? What is that? Alright. Who are you? What are you? Okay. There you are. Nope. Where the hell is it? Oh, shit. What's it? Oh, right. That's one of those monks. Now, from what I can remember, they're not too bad. I would like to be fighting it in a bigger area, mind. There it is. Oh, shit. Yep, that was savage. This is not a fantastic place to fight it, if I'm honest. It's in that T-junction area. We might have to fire off some cheeky attacks. Where are you? There you are. Come on, buddy. Stop being a pussy and hiding in the wall. Really, dude? You're just going to keep hiding in the wall? Ah, oh, son of... You know what? We're just going to chip away at your health just a little bit. Guess that's kind of the best thing we can do. We really can't fight this thing here. Not really. Serious Ah, right, he's firing his Wait, do they home in on us? I'm guessing they home in on us. And I'm not convinced. Ah, oh, we have got a stone mirror, that's cool. No. Yeah, I'm not convinced we can fight this guy here. Um, ah. Because there's too many walls for him to hide in. I've got to be honest. As game design goes, I don't like that. Maybe he's going to follow us into here. Ah, he does follow us in here. Cool. That's good to know. Alright. Alright, calm down. Yep. 
We just got totally beasted by that guy. Ah, uh, that was annoying. Right, uh, we've lost the stone mirror. I mean, I guess that's not the end of the war. Wait, there's two of them. What? Holy crap, okay. All right. Yeah, this is this this is cool game. This is cool. What the fuck nuggets? This is where oh, okay, I can't even all right, yeah. I I cannot even like do anything here. Yeah. This is this is not good. Those so they follow you. Those shots actually follow you. Let's switch up to some better film. Oh, should we go for the big boy stuff? Uh, you know, the Type 37 should be okay, I guess. Oh, God. Have some of that. Yes, yes. You didn't like that, did you? And that. Good. Oh, shit. Um. Right. Well. Talk about getting ganked in that hallway. So, you can uh, run into multiple ghosts. And in... Yeah. I did wonder if those... Uh, killed people, I think they were called, were like the only ghosts that you can get multiples of. But I guess trying to escape from one ghost, you can run into another, which... Ooh, dude. Okay. That's a little bit heavy. Maybe... Hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah. What are we upgrading with the camera, anyway? It's okay. So we only have range left to do. Uh, it's 24,000. It's a lot. But if we're going to keep <laughs> encountering ghosts like this, let's switch up to the better film. Right. Are we going to encounter the ghost again? Yeah, we are. Right. Ah, you bastard. We need to take this guy. Ah, actually, talking of that, can we lure him back through here? Have a much better job fighting him in here. Yep, cool. I mean, I think we'll have a better job fighting him in here. Have some of that, yeah? Yeah, it's not so much fun now when you can't hide. Like a little creeper. Come on, buddy. Come on. Dude. Dude. Ooh. Okay, so he does actually have an attack where he can, like, come up and grope us. Good to know, I guess. There we go. Give him one of them. Let's charge up. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Not falling for that again. That should finish him off. Man. Man. Oh, man. That guy was a straight savage. I think that was a monk. Ah, oh, see the amount of health these things have now. I'm thinking. Dangerous, I know. But I'm thinking that these ghosts are significantly more powerful than they once were. And I guess they're going to be pretty much all over the bloody place. I don't know... Uh, I really don't know how random the ghosts are. You really can. Like, if you're not careful, drain your health really, really uh, quickly, and your, your um, uh, what do you call it, your film as well, it really doesn't last long, okay, so, we know in here, 
Or at least we... Ah, we went all through there last time. Yeah, because that's the burial room. Right. Cool. So we've done all that. So in here was that... Was it a long arms? Or long armed woman or something? Yes. She's still here. There you go. Have some of that. Yeah, you haven't got your monk friend this time, have you? Charge up. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, that was a good, powerful attack. Very good, powerful attack there. Ooh, she's surviving. That should finish her off. Nice. Five shots. Who is she? Dude. Does it tell us who she was? Probably. Long-haired woman. I mean, yeah, sure. All right. I mean, we actually didn't get a huge amount for doing that. But, I mean, we got something, I guess. So, you know. Oh, the stairs are here. Whoa. Okay. That's interesting. And we can, of course, go through there. Which will ah, take us to the lamp hallway. Right. Uh, let's have a look in the lamp hallway. I'm not sure if we're going to be locked out from going anywhere around here. We can go through there because the, uh, the ghost is still there. We can check the library out. See what's by this door here. Anything? No. Can we go through? We can go through here. Hmm. Okay. So we can go to the square garden. Actually, the and the Buddha room. Right, okay. Well, one thing at a time. Let's go check the library first. Door won't open. Door won't open. Okay, cool. That's fine. We've unfortunately lost a lot of health to that first ghost. Man, what a dick penis ghost. Seriously. Ooh. Ooh, I can feel vibrations. Good vibrations. I wonder. Right, what's this one? Ortega. Ooh. Yep. Of course, that is where he died. Like a coward, hiding. 3,000 points. Okay, so where the hell is Ortega on this? Uh, eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. No. Bloody hell. What the fuck? I mean, the guide starts on page two because I missed the first page out because I didn't need it. We're on page seven. No, family. Where the long haired woman? Truth finder. Okay. Man at the bottom. Okay, I guess. All right, well, I guess this dude. Uh, isn't even on my guide, so cool. All right, now I mean three thousand points. That's spicy. That really is. Uh, I wonder if we can go through to the doll room. Probably, maybe. We might have some more spoopy ghosts in here. Be prepared for the spoopy ghosts. Nothing in there. Oh, yep. I guess. Oh, it's the floating head. Oh, is that Ortega's head? I'm not sure. You know, that's easy to just finish off. Get out of here, kid. Oh, it's a woman's head, apparently. Sounded like a bloke. Alright. Yeah, we want to go into, like, the final 
Oh, yes, there is an item here. I have not wasted your time. Spirit stone. Uh, I mean, kind of a waste of time, I suppose. Because we can't use spirit stones. So. Oh, another item there that I nearly missed. Ah, stone mirror. Right. Uh, I need to make a note of that. One second. Pause. Right. A record of that has been saved. Stone mirror. I mean, they don't look like stone mirrors to me, but hey, who am I to judge? Uh, can we go into this room? Can't go through from this side. Right, okay. So that's library. Oh, yeah. I, that's so weird that that's the library. It doesn't really seem like a library. Lamp hallway. We haven't been into the square garden. Guess we could... Uh, did we go into the storehouse? I can't remember. We may have. Okay, well, we've got to go back through uh, the way we came anyway. And it's quite possible to miss items because they are, although they flash, and uh, they are quite obvious, they do blend in a little bit. And they do hide them as well. Which is cool. I like that, you know. So there's there's probably a lot more items around than you originally imagined. You go around thinking, oh, there's, you know, fuck all around. Um... We haven't been in the Buddha room yet. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Don't we have to do something in the Buddha room? Mm. I wish these were in order. Yeah, I'm sure... Well, am I thinking of, like, the last video. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's have a... Oh, It's a stormy night. And we can go into the Buddha room. And there's items in there. Good. Actually, let's go into the Buddha room first then. See if anything new has appeared. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a ghost in here. Ooh. We can hear chatter. That door we can't go through, I don't think. Sealed by a powerful force. Okay. Document on binding. Show the maiden no mercy. Cast the ropes on her limbs from right arm and then to the other. From right foot, then to the other. Okay. Ah. Uh, There's a giant wooden carving of Buddha here. Left hand is damaged. Right, well, I, I mean, I guess this is a puzzle for later. I guess. There's a lot of chatting going on. Is there somewhere that we can... get a shot of a ghost? look like it. No, okay. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess we're definitely going to be coming back here then. I mean, that makes sense because, I mean, this is like obvious puzzle. Oh! We not get out. Oh, we're trapped in here. We're trapped, boys. And the filament's not going off. We are trapped. Okay. Oh, sacred ropes tied to the pillar on the altar. There are four of them all together. Maybe they're used for some kind of ritual. Yeah, maybe, Miku, you know. It's a distinct possibility. Right. Um, now, I'm guessing that's just told us uh, the... No. We want the scroll. Document on binding. Um, so, right arm, then the other. Then right foot, then the other. So... 
Uh, right arm. Oof. Uh, right, right arm. Like that's the foot. And then I guess we need to go do this one. What's that? A base stakes? Yeah. Okay. You can tell this is heavily inspired by Resident Evil. You really can, like the puzzle design and stuff. It's really good. I mean, well, I mean, you know, old school Resident Evil anyway. Uh, right foot. I mean, this was a mega savage twisted ritual when you think about it. Oh, imagine being bound and like by your family, no less, and then torn asunder without like a single shit given. What you you've got to wear that mask, I believe, with the spikes in your eyes. Oh, that is pretty savage. I'm not going to lie. The altar door opened. Are we gonna have a boss fight? I get the feeling we're gonna have a boss fight. There is something in here. Oh, teal carving. Uh, yeah. Cool, I, I guess. Ooh. I guess that's... The Himaru guy going mental. Murdering everyone. Oh god, right, okay. Oh shit! We are actually f Oh man, we're actually fighting him. Right, yeah, we are... Oh god, he has one hell of a range on him. Because of course he does. Um, in that case... Let's switch up to better film. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, we are out of health. Uh, we literally died completely out of health. That was kind of interesting. Right, okay, that hurts him quite significantly. <clears throat> My god, look at the range. How do you... Okay. How do you escape from that? Yeah, see, laugh at that, matey. Die. Oh, there will be no dying by me today. Oh, god. Um, shit. Okay, so he also fires homing... Um, skulls. What the fuck is going on? What is that? Alright. Miku, like, I don't want to, like, pressure you. But if you could run like a normal human, it would definitely help. This is no time for a gentle saunter. A bit of a power walk, you know? It's not really a time to power walk across the the room I'd fucking get a bit of a jog on you know okay boss battle uh cool I guess so that must be the master of the house then I think because he went on some murderous rampage killing everybody um I can't really remember why he went on a murderous rampage killing everybody but, that's cool. I mean, we just... We used a, a big health item there. I'm not sure I'm happy about that. But, you know, that's what they're there for. Um, and it seems fairly clear-cut. 
that are type 30... Oh, sugar. Oh, it's a rope maiden. I was just about to say, our type 37 film seems pretty obsolete. And then we come across a little rope maiden. Where is she? There she is. Come on, rope maiden. Hello. I know, you've had a terrible life, a terrible existence. And you're going to try and teleport behind me. But you're not very threatening, really. Unfortunately for you. So, you know, I've just fought your daddy. And he was a bit of an ass. He's got a sword. Wait a minute. He's actually got a sword. It's the first... I was going to say it's the first ghost that attacks you. Um, with a weapon. But I suppose the monks kind of shoot at you. As well. I'm guessing... No, I was going to say, I'm guessing that till room we actually need... To uh, use uh, that room, the Buddha room, we need to use the teal symbol on, but we don't because we've, you know, just been in there. So, right, we definitely need more film. We didn't lose our stone mirror somehow either. I mean, you talk about health down to the wire. That was some butt clenching stuff right there. There is a lot of stone mirrors as well. It's not like they're rare. Which is cool, I guess. I mean... Uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty cool. Because just how much damage these ghosts do to you. They are absolutely brutal. Um, especially when you first meet a new ghost. And their attack pattern is... Well, let's just say unconventional. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I think we're doing okay. Considering we're so close to the end of the... Well, Yes, we, I think we are. We're close to the end of the game now. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.